Yo, what up? What are going? What's popping? What is happening? Probably a whole lot of nothing due to the situation of most of us being on lockdown, but I'll just start, I would start the video by just saying positive vibes to everybody that's out there that's on lockdown. We will get through the situation, but Welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo and today is Thursday. So welcome to our little thing that we have going on here for the last few weeks called Three Minute Thursday. And if it is that you're familiar with the YouTube platform and you're familiar with another YouTuber or other YouTubers that do a thing with a time on a day, yes, it's very much like that. We tackle a subject within three minutes and very much like that other creator that does that thing on a day. The three minutes don't start until I say three minutes on the clock. Today, we are talking about iMovie and color correction or quote unquote color grading because you can kind of color grade. But before we jump into the software, let me just explain why I'm doing this video. So I know a ton of people use iMovie, but what I've also come to realize is a lot of people that are creatives in other disciplines also use iMovie and they may be pros in, let's say, audio engineering or music production and photography, let's say, and they are pro grade editing softwares in those disciplines, but not necessarily video, so they don't have access to a Final Cut Pro or a Premiere Pro or anything like that. So iMovie is their go-to software and they might want to get a little bit more, a better look here. The um, clips that we're going to be using here will give you probably some of the most extreme situations because we're going to be working with log profiles like your Sony S-Log 2 or 2 clips and then I did one from Filmic Pro. So let's jump into the software and then I'll show you exactly what we're talking about and how you can color grade in iMovie. And let's throw three minutes on my timer right here. Three minutes on the clock. All right, so we have three clips here. As I said, all of these are in S-Log. If you've never worked with log footage before, it gives you a full, it gives you better dynamic range, but it comes out real flat looking like this. So here, this is a clip from when I was in Bali. We were at a beach club. So in order to color correct this and make it not look so flat and gray and gross, we're gonna come right here to the color correction there. And as you can see, you have different things here. This here controls your shadows, this controls your highlights. The middle one is just overall exposure and then these two deal with your contrast. So looking at this image, it's a little bit overblown. I'm gonna drop just the shadows there quite a bit and you can already see some of the color starting to come back into the image and then I'm gonna drop the contrast there a lot and we're already working with something there. If I reset that, you see where we started and then this is where we ended up. But what we also want to do here is come, this here is your saturation slider and you're gonna wanna add some saturation there and then boom, we already have a good workable image. So we went from that to that and then this slider here um, is your tint. So you could either make it cooler or make it warmer because this was a beach club scene, I'm gonna make it a little bit warmer that looks good there. The highlights look a little bit overblown, so I'm gonna just drop the exposure there and then boom. So we went from this as log footage to that real quick. So that looks super good there. How much time we have here? We have a minute 13 left. Second clip here is just of my son. This was also shot in S-Log, so same thing here. I'm gonna drop my shadows down. I'm gonna pull contrast there. This one might need a little bit more saturation. Boom, we have some color there in his face. And then since this one was a snow scene, maybe I wanna give it a little bit of a blue tint, pull some more saturation, and then went there from that to that. 40 more seconds left on the clock. So this is from Filmic Pro and their log profile. As you can already see, this has a, already has a little bit more contrast in it. So I'm not gonna drop the blacks too much. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast there. Um, it already looks a little saturated, so just a little bit there. And then again, because it's on the beach, we are gonna give that there. But again, we went from this to that just real quick there. And that's how you 
color grade in iMovie. So I might have run through that really quick there, but again, it's really just using those sliders and adding some, con dropping your shadows, adding some contrast, some saturation, and then using the sliders for the, whether it is that you wanna add a warm vibe or you wanna add a cool vibe to your footage there. So that is that, that's our three minute Thursday. I will not ramble on, I will not talk for too much. So. If this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead, drop it a like, share it with your other creative friends, hit up all the little buttons down there, check out some of our other iMovie tutorials, I'll link up here and down below. I have a full playlist there of other things you could do in the editing software. And subscribe button, notification button, do whatever you want to. We're not begging the subscribers, aren't our friends. If you like it, you know what to do. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.